Hey guys, happy holidays. It's H-O-Y-S and Hoodie. We are so sorry it has taken so long to finally do another movie review, but here we are. Today's episode, we are doing A Streetcar Named Desire, and I'm going to hand it off to Hoodie. Before I start, I just want to say a late Merry Christmas to all of you that are watching. Um, but I'm about to review A Streetcar Named Desire, and the director for this movie is Eliak... Zan, and um, this movie released on September 19th, 1951, and it made $8 million at the box office, but the budget was $1.8 million. And some of the people in this movie are Vivian Leigh, Marlon Brando, Kim Hunter, and Carl Molden. And I'm about to review the plot, before, but before I do that, I'm going to give everyone a five-second um break to click off this video if they have not seen this movie and do not want the plot. It's spoilers. Yeah. Okay, five seconds is up. So, here is the plot. Blanche Dubois is a high school English teacher who has just arrived in New Orleans. She takes a streetcar named Desire to an apartment where her sister Stella and her husband Stanley live. Blanche reveals that the family estate got lost and she is broke with nowhere to go. Stanley is out playing poker one night, but he rages and strikes Stella, which ends the game. After months, tension builds up between Blanche and Stanley. Stella and Stanley argue, but it gets interrupted when Stella goes into labor as she's pregnant. Uh, late one night, as Stella's labor continues, Stanley returns from the hospital to get sleep. Blanche tries to st tell Stella everything Stanley has done, but Stella doesn't believe Blanche, who has a mental breakdown after. Weeks later, another poker game is occurring when doctors arrive to take Blanche to a mental hospital. At first, she refuses to go there, but she believes she's going on a vacation, so she agrees to go. Stella realizes that Blanche told her the truth all along and rushes the baby upstairs, ignores calls from Stanley, and vows not to return again. That was the plot, so, um, H, your thoughts. Uh, don't you have a, uh, a fun fact? Oh, yes, I do. Um, my fun fact is, as the film progresses, the set of the Kowalski's apartment actually gets smaller to heighten the suggestion of Blanche's claustrophobia. On a side note, uh, we're recording this currently, it is 12.30 in the morning. So we are really tired, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> There's nothing to do with the movie, I'm just saying. This is, the, this, we've broken the record for the latest. The longest time without doing a movie review, I think. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, that too, but this is the latest we've ever recorded a, this is the, the, the latest we've ever recorded. I think, mm. I think the latest one before this was like midnight. My thoughts... Uh, honestly, I was really confused by a lot of what was going on, and after he explained the plot, I am still confused because I didn't get much more than I already knew. <laughs> I'm kind of lost, because I... The whole thing was just kind of confusing. It was, because I really didn't, like... Now, it's one of those movies where if you watch it multiple times, you'll probably get what's going on. But if you're just watching this for the first time like we did, then you probably have no clue what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I just, I wasn't using, I, wa I also watched this movie late at night, which was a mistake to begin with. W worst time to watch something. And there was so much, like, arguing and yelling in it that, like, I didn't really know, like, what they were even arguing about. Really, I, I don't know. I mean, I was just confused by it. I mean, it had some good parts in it. Yeah, but there were several decent parts. What were your thoughts? Um, I mean, when when people argue, it's it's just very hard to understand what, like, they're saying. 
So, like, I mean, you, you can't really make out what they're saying. Um, yeah, my question was, how did the abusive husband not get arrested? I don't know. I mean... That's what I was wondering the whole mm, time. Yeah. I was like, dude, he's... Or, guys, he's obviously... Like, yeah, I mean, like, he... Has hit, anger issues. Obviously. I don't know. That was probably my least favorite part. My favorite part was uh, probably the. I liked the uh, the poker games in it. Yeah, especially when, when he, they were playing poker. When he hit her. Or whatever. Yeah. I mean, obviously. No, that was the least. I mean, the the part where he didn't get arrested was bad, but like just him. Uh, us, oh no! It was just like too dramatic for me. Yeah. The whole thing, all the characters were like drama kings or queens, it seemed like. I, I can see that. Yeah. Maybe if I watched it again, I'd feel differently about it. Which which sometimes happens. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And this... I did, I... I think it would have helped if it wasn't... In black and white too. Mm, I don't know if that necessarily. Well, I don't know. It was a it was a darker themed movie. movie, so maybe the black and white actually helped. Maybe. I think it did. You you know what? It should have stayed black and white, because it wasn't a happy movie about rainbows and butterflies. So I changed my mind on that. And that's it. It was. It was okay. I, I guess we'll find out what the. I really don't know what the the score because I'm just kind of like I know, I know I just didn't like it that much just because I didn't understand it. Let's just get into the review. Pro- it's late. Yeah. <laughs> it's twelve forty now. <laughs> All right. So obviously we just count down from five, five and, and then we'll review our score. Simultaneously. Okay. Five, four, four three, three, two. two. One sixty one. What do you give it a sixty eight? I gave it a sixty one. The average is hold on. Sixty four point five is the final is is the score for this. Is the is the score. Sixty four point five, which technically rounds up to sixty five. If we do that. Do, do we round these or what? We don't round them? Okay, so it's, it stays at 64.5. <laughs> but that is... Also, was was it just named... Was it named a streetcar named Desire just because of the beginning scene? Because that's uh, the only time I, it pops up. Yeah, I would assume so, yeah. I was wondering, I was like, why is it called that? Like, it didn't have a significance to the story, really. Not really. Except the beginning part that was really it i mean i actually forgot about it by the end i was like oh yeah there was a streetcar named that yeah <laughs> that's it though ne- our next review will be singing in the rain i believe w- that is 19 i think we're moving on to 1952 finally uh, it, if you haven't noticed we started from 1951 as it's 2021 now, about to be 2022, but we started this a couple months ago. And yeah, basically, um, past to present. Yeah. We just decided to start 70 years ago. Or no. Yeah, 70, yeah, that was 70 years ago. Yeah. We, we promised we would do a movie review soon. We're not going to wait another four weeks. But again, ha- there will be one in the near future. Yeah, maybe even tomorrow. <laughs> if we feel like it. Yeah. Anyways, again, happy holidays. Hope everyone is having a very mm-hmm. festive mm-hmm. Christmas week. Uh, see you guys later. If we don't do a movie review before 2022, then everyone have a nice new year. We'll do one before then. Goodbye. <laughs>